Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to tell you how DGCA conducts its class 1 medical examination and how you can prepare for it. So to get your class 1 medical done, you will first have to get an appointment at any of the three Air Force medical centers that is AFCME New Delhi, IAM Bangalore and MEC Johrath. So for that, you just have to fill this form. Yes, you heard me right. You have to fill this form and send it to DGCA through email. So now I'll guide you where you can exactly find this form. Just go on to the DGCA's website that is dgca.gov.in and then click on personal. Uh, under the medical section, click on class 1 medical examiner. And then on the left hand side navigation bar, the go to centralized appointment and PMR forwarding procedure and uh, you will find a pdf of seven pages the sixth page is the form uh, if you go down through the pdf you will find the sixth page as form for seeking appointment and at at pmr forwarding to if civil air crew medical evaluation center this is the form which you will have to fill so now you must be wondering how to fill this form and that's exactly what i'm going to tell you so yes, uh, now in the first column, we'll have to write our name and remember to fill this form in capital letters only. So let's assume my name is Anil Deshmukh. Just ignore my handwriting. And uh, if you are doing this for the first time, you won't be having any flying license number. Uh, so you'll leave column number two and three blank. Then you will get a PMR file number uh, when you will get your class 2 medicals done. Uh, so you will have to write it here. I am taking all these details randomly and uh, then and then you will have to write your contact number here in the column 4. So again I will write 111. One. Uh, then you will have to write your email id here. Uh, I am writing anil at the rate g mail dot com in the column sixth we'll have to write our uh, last medical examination dates so if uh, you haven't done any class one medicals prior so you'll have to fill in the details of your class two medical uh, so for example i got my class two medicals in delhi so i'll uh, i'll write the center name as delhi and date uh, I'll keep the date as 9th September 2021 okay so now in the column uh, 7th column uh, we'll have to select any one type uh, so I'm getting my initial or reinitial so I'll tick here and dates if you are not very specific with the dates you can write here earliest date available and uh, if this is your class one initial medical so then your initials will only be done at any of the three centers that is afc me iam bangalore and mec jorath so you can write your preference list accordingly uh, which whichever is nearest so i'll write afc me as my first delhi Second, I'll give as I A M Joharath. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, try avoiding mistakes, which I did. If you make a mistake, then uh, fill a fr fresh form. Uh, then I'll write here I A M Bangalore, and then the third one is M E C Joharath. So in the eighth column, take the first option and uh, then in the ninth column, write the place from where you are. So suppose if I'm from Delhi, I'll write Delhi and then I'll write the date on the date on which I'm filling this form. Suppose 31st December 2021. And now here I'll make my signatures. So for example, 
that's it so now you have successfully filled this form so after filling the form uh, you'll have to mail it to dgca uh, so for that open your gmail and uh, just com uh, start composing a new mail and uh, write dear sir slash ma'am i you, comma your name comma want to schedule my appointment for class 1 medical and i'm attaching the annexure a form and class 2 medical assessment form below for the same regards your name and then you'll have to, to attach two files in this email one is your medical assessment class 2 medical assessment and the second one is the form which you have filled just now and remember this mail needs to be sent at medappointment.dgca.gov.in and not the previous mail id that is dgca medical appointment at the rate gmail.com after sending the mail you will have to wait for approximately 10 to 20 days then you can expect a reply back and in that particular reply back mail you will find a few attachments so do remember to read the mail and the attachments properly so after getting the confirmation email you can start preparing all the documents which you will have to take along with you and out of all those documents the most important document is Bharat Kosh fee receipt uh, so now I'll tell you how to make that payment and uh, get your fee receipt so to get your Bharat Kosh fee receipt uh, you just have to go to bharatkosh.gov.in as you can see on my screen and uh, scroll down go to non-registered users under the payment to GUI section uh, click on that and uh, you will see this page uh, where in the depositors category select individual then in the purpose just click on this search icon and a uh, drop down box will appear inside this drop down box uh, in the ministries column you select civil aviation and tourism purpose in the purpose tab you can write C A R in caps uh, then you will find an option medical dash C A R section 7 click on that uh, and hit search so you will find four options that is uh, one is for issuance of class 2 medical a renewal of class 2 medical issuance of class 1 medical and renewal of class 1 medical so just click on issuance of class 1 medical and then this uh, website will automatically fill the other details other required details for you accordingly and uh, just leave the remark column as it is empty and uh, then uh, just enter the captcha click on add and it will just show you a temporary receipt again you will have to enter the captcha after filling the captcha just click on next you will be directed to the next page uh, just enter your enter all your details uh, then uh, just click on online select the online payments option uh, again you will have to enter the captcha then you will be directed to the next page where all your details will be shown just confirm them and uh, enter the captcha again click on confirm then you will be redirected to the payment gateway uh, select a gateway for example i will select hdfc then uh, using net banking then select net, net banking otherwise debit card credit card or upi again a captcha uh, select this and then click on pay you will be asked for the otp or to, if you are using uh, your upi then you will have to accept it through your phone or the upi app and uh, then the payment will be successful just take a printout of that now you will have to get all your medical tests done and just remember to get all these documents within the time span of one month before your exact date so the list of all the medical tests which you have to get done 
before reaching the center will be provided to you through an attachment which will be attached in your confirmation mail uh, so yeah so the list looks like this so and uh, if you are doing this for the first time uh, i'll tell you all the tests which you will have to get done uh, first is blood hb tlc dlc uh, then blood sugar fasting and pp hp a1c lft blood urea and serum creatine uh, then serum uric acid lipid profile urine routine and ecg x-ray chest pa view pure tone audiometry ultrasound abdomen and pelvis dilated fundus examination and if your bmi is greater than 30 then you will have to get your blood sugar fasting and uh, two hours after 75 grams of glucose remember all these tests need to be done through nabl or nabh accredited labs only so after arranging all the documents you will just have to wait for your examination day to come on the examination date you will have to reach there by 7 30 in the morning once the clock ticks 7 30 uh, some forms will be distributed to all the applicants present there and you will have to basically fill it it will be a form similar to which you have during your class two medicals and you will have to fill those forms and wait for them to call you once they call you you will have to submit all the documents which you have bought with you they'll give you a coupon you will have to go and wait in the waiting room and then we were called so basically this uh, examination happens in six to seven parts so part one is your identity verification you will be called he'll ask you for your identity any any one of the identity cards uh, if possible you can go with your aadhaar card they'll see it verify if you are wearing a mask they'll ask you to remove that and show your face properly and then they'll send you to another room where your ENT examination will be done uh, a pure tone audiometry test and then a uh, ENT doctor will examine you after getting clearance from there you will be sent to another room where your eyes will be tested once you go to the next room where your eyes will be tested you will first be asked to fill a small form and uh, then after filling that form you'll be called one by one inside the doc doctor's chamber and you'll be tested after that your eyes will be dilated and uh, then again uh, the doctor will test your eyes getting a clearance from there you will go to the third room where uh where you, your height and weight will be checked and after that they'll allow you to have your breakfast and uh, after the breakfast you might be asked to go home and come back next day so next day when you come back you will be asked uh, for a naked body examination uh, wherein they will take you to another separate room and they will ask, ask you to remove your clothes and lie down on the bed and they will check your heartbeat and then uh, they will ask you to show your hands uh, just do a sit up and uh, basic tests after that uh, you can go, go outside and uh, once this naked body examination is conducted completely uh, then and you get a clearance from there so after getting your naked body examination done you just have to wait for the next two to three hours for them to prepare all your documents and uh, after that you'll be asked to sign and fill two to three forms wherein all your details will be mentioned and you'll have to check them and uh, after filling those forms within two to sorry five to ten minutes you will be given your ca35 form after that within 10 to 20 days you will receive an email wherein you will get your class one medical assessment and also you will get it through post ordinary post so now let me show you how your medical assessment and ca35 form will look like so this is how your ca35 form will look like and this is how your medical assessment will look like and i forgot to mention a point and that is now after getting your class one medicals done you would only have to get your class one medicals renewed every year and not your class two medicals so now let's talk about how much you'll have to spend for your class one medicals 
you will have to make a payment of rupees 3000 at the bharat kosh website for your class 1 medicals and you will be spending approximately around 5 to 8000 for your medical reports so yes you will approximately be spending rupees 10000 to 12000 for your class 1 medicals now i'll tell you few points to remember so the first point is remember to wear formals or semi formals and uh, as I've told you earlier that the reporting time is 7.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, then both the days it might be done in one day or it might take two to three days uh, but uh, each day you'll be you'll get free around by around 12 to 2 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon and uh, remember to take two IDs with you one is basically collected at the at the gate entry gate where the cantonment starts for security reasons and the other one to show it inside the center inside the medical center uh, and uh, remember to go empty stomach after some time they'll allow you to have breakfast in the canteens and the last point which I want to mention is don't get confused if you are getting your class 1 medical initials done it will only happen at three centers which is AFCME at New Delhi, IM at Bangalore or MEC at Johorat and also if you want it can be done at uh, Nanavati uh, hospital in Mumbai or at the Apollo Heart Center in Chennai but if you if it is possible for you then I would prefer you go for uh, any of the three Air Force hospitals and yeah all the best for your class 1 medicals